Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. Today I am going to be working on my mom's diamond painting again. And I'm gonna work more with this ruler. So I've been having a difficult time maneuvering this with the project that I'm working on because it's a canvas that was misprinted and the company sent me a new one. And so I'm just using it as like a blank canvas. And so um, doing it as a blank canvas and then trying to, you know, like line them up and stuff, it has been really difficult. Um, so it's been a, a, a definite work in progress. I had to basically chart it out on paper uh, and cross out which ones, um, you know, I was putting in the, the crosses. So it's, it's definitely been difficult to use for that project. Um, this project, um, I think it, it was fine for the most part. So on that project, um, on the, the canvas I'm using is a, um, Evershine Huikin and I had issues with, um, I had issues with it lining up. So basically since it was a blank canvas, I just laid it out and just did it even though it didn't line up. So they're not in the grid squares. Um, so that's something to think about if you do, do decide to use this for a blank canvas. Um, and then, so I think by putting these little ones down here, I kind of made a mistake. Um, so um, the first time I did it, I had it this way. This is how I had it lined up. So now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to put this on top of one of the rows I already did. And then it should kind of stick with the, the theme that it's already on, I'm hoping. So, uh, and this, you know, takes a little bit of maneuvering because you pretty much got to line them, line the ruler up again to what you had it at in the same exact way in order to get it to line up again. Don't. Am I missing something on here? Okay, that's so weird. I can push it through the bottom, from the bottom, to get them to line back up, but... It's like, being difficult otherwise. So, you might have to push them through on the opposite side if they don't want to go back in. Up pretty good. 
Um, So some, some of these drills have tabs on them, it looks like, so they're not fitting through the, the square the way they're supposed to, which is part of this issue. Okay, so I'm just trying to make sure that these things are pushed through all the way because Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on um, working on this part um, as much as I can. My kids are being preoccupied by their father, which um, we both know does not always go well. So um, I might have to silence some of the video. Um, so, um, we're doing, so today is Thursday, um, by the time you see this, it'll probably be Friday, maybe I'm gonna try to get it edited and up sooner rather than later, um, but, yeah, well, I might try to see if I can get it done today, but it probably won't go up until tomorrow um for the editing but um so my kids start my five-year-old starts kindergarten remotely on monday and um, we're still waiting to hear if they have a chromebook for us or not um because there's like a i guess there's like a nationwide Chromebook shortage because everyone's going remote learning and such so um, We do have a laptop, but I would rather have a Chromebook separate for him just so that I can still continue to do the things that I need to do and edit videos, etc um, So um, so he's supposed to start that. We, we picked up his materials today because they had some, some materials that they wanted to give to the kids, um, for remote learning. And so he's going to be doing like school for like, I think it's like three and a half, four and a half hours a day. And, and then I also have my three-year-old who is supposed to, he's supposed to start, um, he is supposed to start ECE3, um, and he's, he's got an IEP, obviously, so he's supposed to start, um, sooner than my kindergartner, um, but he has to go, they're, they're doing, only in-person learning but they haven't decided yet when they are going to start doing that so um, I'm not sure what that's gonna look like but it looks like he's gonna be going to school in the afternoon from like 12 15 to 12 15 to 3 15 so um, you know, I'm like a little stressed because I thought that they had a morning, um, kindergarten, uh, sorry, ECE3 class, but they, they do, but it's all, um, Spanish. So, um, he is going to have to go in the afternoon and we'll see how it goes i um 
I'm not 100% confident that it's going to go well um, for many reasons, but um, I am definitely a little worried about about him going to school just because he's pretty much um, nonverbal. I mean, he's he he gibbers like you know gibberish talk and he does have some words but it's not a lot and so i just worry with transitionings um in school and stuff and you know he's never been in daycare or you know never really been away from me or his father or you know someone he is familiar with with family so, I, I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go for him. But he definitely needs it. He definitely needs the the um, preschool environment to learn in. So, But they want him to wear a mask. And, you know, I... It's it's gonna be hard, even for my five year old. It's gonna be hard for him to leave that mask on all like pretty much all day. He's like, they're not used to having to go all day with it. So, um, I'm gonna try to try to transition uh, my five year old at least, cause he at least will keep it on. But he he my my three year old he does not like it at all. He's just like. He he wants to do whatever he can to get it off his face. He doesn't like it. And so I don't know if they're gonna be able to go. You know, the whole the whole day or what. So it just kinda sucks. So um everything is totally up in the air and it's kinda frustrating. Like I said, I was hoping to have that free time in the morning, but now it's not going to be until the afternoon. So my recordings will have to be, you know, done in the afternoon. And then while he, they're doing remote learning, I'm going to have to be like sitting in the room um, helping my son because he's going to have a hard time staying focused, I feel. Um, he's got a touch of ADHD possibly, so... Um, he's like hyper all the time. You probably hear him playing in the bathroom right now. He's really loud <laughs> and hyper all the time. So, he, he seems like he's excited, but I, ha I just have this, uh, sneaking suspicion that he's gonna not be happy about having to wake up every morning and, and do school virtually. And last year when they did virtual school, they didn't do a live teaching. They were only doing like some, some like video recordings and then you're supposed to watch them. And he, I could barely, we could barely get him to interact with that. And so I just, I don't think, I don't think it's going to go that well, but I don't know for sure. So we'll, we're just winging it at this point. <laughs> Um, I think those who, those who are able to go back to school are pretty lucky though. Um, but then it's also a crapshoot because it's like, well, if one person gets COVID, they're shutting the school down for the, the, um, two, for two weeks, they're like in a quarantine and everybody and, but it's just... It's like, it's too risky, I think. And, but I also know that specifically for my kids, they don't learn well from remote learning. So, um, you know, it's like, kind of like if I, if they were learning everything they needed to learn from me, then they wouldn't need to go to school, right? Wrong. Uh, especially, especially my, my three-year-old, he, does not like want to 
copy me or, or whatever he'll but he'll copy whatever my sister says or does and so she can actually get him to say and do and a lot more than I can so and then she tells me she's worried about getting COVID now so I'm like wow okay I thought you were gonna help um you know with the kids um and basically because she said she was gonna um, set up a classroom and teach them um and like when school wasn't in because they wanted to learn from her so much but then she turns around and says that once school starts she's not going to want to have the kids over because she's going to be worried about covid which i mean it's understandable but then you know like she was kind of like oh blah 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 about it and then she found out that her husband's um, side of the family, some of his cousins or something, got it. And so now she's more worried about it, I guess. Um, but I don't know. Um, my kids both have speech therapists coming in, a therapy um, coming in and, and whatnot. So... And they were talking about how once school started that they weren't going to want to come in um, anymore. And I'm like, I can't. My kids don't learn that way. Neither one of them. Cause, and they're both behind their peers. And if, if this keeps happening, then they're going to become even further behind their peers. And it just, I don't, you know, like, I don't see... I don't see a right answer here either way because, you know, they both need what they need and I almost feel like I wish we had like like a teacher that could come in or a tutor that could come in and and tutor them, but it's just, it's really hard. And, you know, the pediatrician tells me that she wants the kids to go back to regular learning. But I also, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking every time somebody got sick in my son's class, he always ended up sick. He was getting sick every week. So I'm thinking, good Lord, their, his immune system is probably not um strong enough to to be going to school <laughs> but i don't know because last last year before the pandemic like he kept getting upper respiratory of, um things like every other week so then um, I'm still waiting on a couple packages, um, from a couple different companies. I was asked to do some reviews on some other companies, so you can look forward to those unboxings coming up. I just did an unboxing from GBKFE, or GBFKE, something like that. Um, and I'm going to actually, I'm going to actually start those painting, um, one of those paintings. Um, I haven't decided, so maybe you can comment below and let me know if you want to see, um, the beach one done first or the wolf one done first. And, um, and then... I also ordered um, a couple more trial kits from Dreamer Designs, which I think are a really good deal because, um, uh, so AB Diamonds, like I said, are special coating, special diamonds give it extra sparkle, make them extra, extra nice. Um, so most of the time, trial versions do not come with AB. Like, Diamond Art Club has trial um, 
diamond paintings and they do not come with ABs. But Dreamer Designs, um, theirs come with ABs on them, which I thought were really cool. Um, you know, you just pay the $8.95 shipping or whatever it is, and which I don't mind. Um, I don't mind paying that price for, for something that doesn't have the best quality diamonds. Um, because if you recall, uh, when I did the, um, the cherry blossom one, I was, I pulled out quite a bit of trash, um, and drills that had, um, tabs on them. So, uh, I think if I paid full price for any of their products, uh, you know, like 60, $70 and I might have a problem with that, but, um, since I don't mind getting the trial versions for, you know, eight something and, um, having to pick through you know, because you get what you pay for, so, um, but I'm just hoping that, um, everything comes well packaged. I'm hoping they're not shoving the canvases in a box that's not big enough again like they did last time. I hope they improve that, um, but I'm waiting for that, and then... Um, I have a couple different companies, like I said, that contacted me to ask me if I would like to review their product. And I don't mind it at all. I rather enjoy um, testing products and um, giving my re honest opinion in my reviews. Um, and like I said, you know, if if I do it, I'm gonna I'm gonna do an honest an honest review if I see something stuck to the canvas I'm gonna let you know um the, you know obviously is not supposed to be there or you know stuff like stuff like that so um but um it's just um you know it's just a work in progress I'm still, I'm still working on the beach. I haven't worked on the beach since the last time I videoed with it, but, um, I, I put it underneath my mattress, hoping that it might get out that deep crease in it. Um, but if not, I might have to figure out how to iron it or, um, steam it or something I, I you know I don't really know because I haven't had to do that on anything so my husband does not know how to keep these kids quiet like at all <laughs> He does not do well with keeping them quiet, that's for sure. And, you know, I get it. He's, the he gets really hyper and, you know, like, that can be an issue, but he wants to watch his TV show and that doesn't really work because then they're asking questions and stuff and he's ignoring them and it's i don't know he thinks that putting him in the bathtub is helpful but it's really not it's like um you know a chance for them to be more loud but you know he tries he does he definitely tries to give me the time to record but it's not always easy, and that's why sometimes you guys hear them in the background playing and yelling and screaming, because there's, you know, not much I can do, you know, about it, and for the most part, everyone's been, for the most part, everyone has been understanding, and I definitely appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, uh. 
I've decided that I'm not super fond of blank canvases because I lose where I'm at quite often. So I might have to rethink my strategy of where I'm working at on it because I'll be placing diamonds and then I'll lose track of where I was at where I was placing them and like I said um, on my blank one that I'm working on it's like kind of I, I have the, the symbols on the pa on a paper and I'm trying to um, highlight over the ones that I've already finished but then you know when you look at the edge you know with the, with the ruler you know it, without the ruler it'd probably be much easier <laughs> to navigate the blank canvas because then I could just look at where you know where the they're supposed to go and not have to worry about the pattern of the you know the the ruler but then I also wanted to work with the ruler to see if it's something that I want to keep or if it's something that I'm just not, you know, fond of or, you know, you know what I mean? Like, um, so far, I am not fully impressed with it just because on each canvas it lines up differently. And... It doesn't seem like it lines up perfectly. I'm not sure how they created the the design for it, but I mean in theory it would be great if it lined up perfectly. Um I'm just seeing that it does not always line up perfectly and then um, sometimes, you know, you go to place down diamonds and they're different sizes. So then those don't line up perfectly either because the fact that the drills are, you know, smaller, bigger, or whatever. So it's a little bit um, of a learning curve with trying to figure that out. Because so after I put all this stuff on the ruler and I go in to place them in between here then um then there might be some gapping so then I might have to scoot it squish it together more um because I'm not fond of gapping I don't like gapping like at all so do not like gapping like, they're supposed to sit next to each other, flush with each other. So, that's the way they're supposed to be, but that's not the way they end up being. So, I mean, because in, in theory, the ruler works great if, if they successfully line up properly. Which, which most of them do, but you gotta go in your room with that. I'm recording. So, it's a little bit of a learning curve to get it to line up too like um well as you saw in the beginning my struggle trying to get it to line up back where it was um makes it really that part makes it really difficult so then so then i think sometimes it's a little more time consuming to do it like once you get it um you know put down or whatever then it then it's pretty much fine it's not really that time consuming but 
getting it put on, getting it lined up, and all of that. All of that makes it, um, you know, it's a little bit more time consuming, I think. Um, for instance, the, the blank house that I'm working on is an um, 20 by 25. And so it's it's quite small. It's like an eight by 10. And it's taking me, it usually takes me about three days but it's taking me a whole lot longer than that because I had to figure out how to use the ruler with it and then I had to figure out how, um, you know, and where to place the drills in between. And so it, it's taking me longer to to complete it than, than it would if it had just had the, um, where are you guys going? Then it would have I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> So now he's taking them to the post office to get them a little more quieter for me. Which he probably should have done in the beginning, but it's fine. <laughs> I've been feeling really tired lately. But I think it's because I've been going to bed late. Um, I started to uh, binge watch Vampire Diaries. I started watching it when it came out because I read the books. Books are nothing like the show at all, except for the characters. They don't even, the same, the things that happen to them in the TV show versus the book are not even the same, most of the, most of it. But anyway, um, I, so I, I'm finally, um, finishing up the series because like I said, I was I was watching it when it was first on TV, and and then I stopped watching it um, at some point, and so now I'm catching up on it, and um, it's you know making me stay up later trying to figure out what is going on. Because they, the I think the show was really, really good, um, dramatic wise. Like it was, it was a good, a good series. I think. So I decided I'm gonna watch the originals as well, and also Legacies, um, both, to kind of get an idea of what happens after that. I don't think any of them are on anymore. I think they all are are in syndication now. But I'm not 100% sure about Legacies because um, I don't, I don't, I wasn't really following it. So I think that's the last one that came out. But it'll be interesting to watch the extended series too after you figure out what what is going on at the end of um, Vampire Diaries so um, and we're still watching the Marvel stuff with, I'm still watching Marvel stuff with my husband when he's around which I think we're getting to a point where we're um, I'm going to be watching the last few movies and some TV shows and then that's going to be 
that like I don't know how many more we have but it doesn't seem like that we're in the third phase of the of the watch thing that um the website that we looked at has us at so we're getting there it's a lot of shows and a lot of hours of I don't usually um, sit and watch TV that much, but um, I have been lately, so. More so probably because we're kind of locked up in this quarantine a little bit more. We had to get up a little bit early to go pick up the school supplies from the teachers. Um, since school starts on Monday, so, So I had to open a dispute up on AliExpress for those um, those um, what you call it stretcher bars because they 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 said they shipped it like they in the shipping thing it said that um, a label was created and that was it. And then I, I asked them, you know, it's been like a month and it says that it's still um, a ship, shipping label created. It's not moving. And I'm like, can you, you know, like l retrieve the information, look it up and tell me when it was sent out and when it, you know, because I, I can see an estimation day for it to be received. Well, that's um, in a couple of days. It has not actually um passed but the problem is um it it still says label shipped so uh, or label created so then after i opened the dispute conveniently um it started moving through the logistics and i'm like yeah right <laughs> you guys just resent it or you found it because you put it aside somewhere or something I mean, I don't really know what they did, but I just, like, I just want my product. Um, I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it, so I just want, I just want to get my, my mail and, um, you know, be done with it. I don't want to, um, sit here and open disputes and stuff because it's kind of a pain in the butt, so... I just want it to be in my hands so I don't have to worry about it. And I actually haven't been ordering anything from AliExpress or or what have you because I am tired of, uh, at the moment, I'm tired of having to file disputes or tired of things not showing up that were supposed to be or, you know, like, I'm tired. I'm just tired of it a little bit so with this whole shipping thing um you never know when you're gonna get it at this point so so I, right now i'm like pretty much in a buying freeze when it comes to that stuff over there um so i'm just waiting see how long it takes now to get into the United States. Last time something happened like kind of like this, my product, my Last time when I was dealing with something like this, um, my 
product never shipped. And, and then I also had a freebie that was supposed to come to me that I won off of AliExpress and it ended up going to Florida. Um, getting delivered. It says delivered in Florida. So I messaged them and haven't heard anything back. Which means they probably chose to just ignore it. So. Um, you know, but since I paid a penny for it, I'm like really not worried about doing a dispute. But, you know, I just you think it's kind of ridiculous because it said it was delivered to me and then it wasn't delivered to me at all. I ended up going to Florida four months later. So don't really know. Um, I just want to finish this little section and then I'm going to go ahead and jump off. Oops. You got to be careful too because you can easily um, crack these if you push too hard, down too hard on them. So... But some of them have like skirts around them or whatever you want to call those. I call them skirts. Um, and they don't always want to fit in the hole. So. I enjoy working on this much better. I'll say with um, the ruler simply because I hate the fact that the gems are different sizes and I don't want to be sitting here comparing the sizes of them. So. I was dreading working on it because the the gems being different sizes and stuff, but you know with the with the ruler it seems to go more smoothly. almost done. I only have a few more, a few more to do, a few more colors. It's just, it's still wild to me how um, a black and white diamond painting has like a lilac purple on it, but you know, uh, it's pretty cool that your brain pretty much focuses on it. Uh, 
I'm, I'm hoping that somebody will take the time to comment on whether they want to see the Love Beach one. And that's like the, the sun setting with the heart and the love on the beach, written on the beach. Or they want to see the wolf. The wolf one, um, which was the wolf howling at the moon mirrored, and then those two images also mirrored. I want to make sure I um, I get their reviews done sooner rather than later. Try to make sure that I um, um, try to make sure that I get uh, finished products and reviews and my reviews up and for you know these products that were shipped to me for testing so. Um, I still haven't decided whether I want to take those, try to take those poles off of the beach canvas, so I haven't decided. The silence is like so nice. Do you guys ever get that way where like you just want it to be silent? Like you want to just turn down the volume of everything and just reminisce in silence. <laughs> I get that way um, sometimes when my kids get really over hyper. Um, especially my five year old because he's the one that gets the most hyper but and he'll like um talk loud or or whatnot and then um Aiden will like just scream his head off I guess because he gets frustrated I'm not usually one to have a bunch of work in progresses. Um, so it's kind of bugging me a little bit because I really want to get um, the work in progress is finished. Um, but I'm halfway done with my blank canvas one. I'm a little more than half now, actually. And then, um, and then I want to start my next one, which is, like I said, is going to be one of those other ones, but, um, but I really don't like having that many work in progresses at the same time because I feel like, um, like nothing's getting done, but. I think with this one will be much easier just because it already has all of the symbols on the diamond painting. So I know where exactly where to place each each gem and drills and, and all that. So oh, I'm gonna get pushed in. And then you gotta make sure you push the, the them in well enough too. Okay, there's the last 
of the hell am I think? Get the D's out of the way. Oh, I also wanted to talk about that. Um, I, since I have so much leftover clay, um, I actually have decided to make a few pens. I don't know if anybody's interested in buying them, um, but I do have them listed on my. Uh, I have them listed in two places. I have them listed on Macari, and I also have them listed on um, I also have them listed on eBay. So, and I can go ahead and show you what the three look like that I'm going to be selling. Um, and they come with the, the single placer. So this one's like a um, pink and purple ombre. Um, and then this one is a green and like a yellow green and then a teal green. And they're not perfect. They do have imperfections. I'm still learning um, and everything. So, but you know, I'm like, I don't know what to do with them. Um, and then this one is shorter than the other ones. Um, this one's one of the shorter pink pens. Um, and then this one's like multi, just multicolored. So, um, so if you are interested in those, um, look down in the description for my, um, eBay or my Macari account and um they will be listed um i'm listing them um between i think it's like seven and eight dollars so something like that um and they may they may go down in price i don't really know um i, don't, I really don't know what to sell them for the amount so i'm just um putting them out there um and see what happens kind of a thing um and I, I really wanted to work more with the clay like um I wanted to buy the the stuff to work more with it but my husband says that I can't buy it unless um unless the pens sell basically um so if the pens sell then he'll then he'll allow me to buy the the like a rolling pin thing and like a clay um, pasta machine, um, you know, stuff like that. If he says if I if I'm gonna sell them, then I can. But if not, then he doesn't really want me to spend money on it. So I don't know um, if they will sell or not, but. Um, it was really hard to make the three pens. I actually made my husband one too um, because he really likes um, the 49ers uh, football team. And so he asked, he didn't ask me, I decided to make him one. Um, so I made him a red and gold like ombre pen. And then I attempted to put 49 on it and you know like I said I'm still learning so it wasn't the best um 49 but um you know it was it was definitely I think words and and letters and stuff are like the hardest thing to do so um so yeah I, I made him this and he loves it, even though he, you know, is mostly a fan of um, the tweezers. 
He's actually um, working on Cinderella right now, on a watercolor Cinderella. And um, so that's, so he's been using his pen to work on it, so. And I, of course, made my my rainbow one um, that I've used on my channel before um, a while back. like supposed to um, storm I think a little bit which is why it looks like I'm losing daylight quite a bit um, I was also considering um, making some more um, cover minders, uh, but I I found out about the like where to finally buy the silver the silver magnets because they're like better out of the black because the black ones are really thick and they don't really stick very well to each other like I've showed that on many occasions um, that they just don't seem to to cooperate plus they're really thick too so you know if you're trying to place a diamond and you got the thing too close then it makes it hard to lay down diamonds next to it so Oh, I got some more L's over here. Don't you hate it when you um, are diamond painting and then you realize that you missed... That's not an L, that's a J. Um, that you missed, you know, a, a, a drill from there. And then you, and then you go back and... Um, pull it out and then you find out you still missed yet another one of the same symbol That gets pretty frustrating <laughs> Like dang it Okay, this one's it for that color Because I see at least two that I have to That I might have to go back and pull out It drives me crazy though, like, because I look at every single symbol and it's like, then it's like, how did I miss it? Did it stop messing with me? It changed it while I was <laughs> in the process of putting it down. And I don't mind it if, if, um, you know, it's like one or two here and there, but it gets pretty frustrating after a certain amount of time. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I, I think I've gotten it down a little more um, since using it on the other project that I've been working on. Um, it's not so, it's not so bad trying to figure out how to line it up and and whatnot, but it does, you know, it does make a difference a little bit.
Almost done. You just gotta be really careful because you don't want to break the diamond or the the drill when you're putting it in. Um, because if you push it over too far, you might um, clip a chunk of it off if you push too hard or um, or whatnot. So. any more of this one Let's see R see R's uh J's I do see J's So I want to thank you guys for that one was not the right color. I also want to thank you guys for com like comment when you guys leave comments, and also when you guys um, subscribe. It's you know uh, I never I never thought I would be in a position where people would actually want to sit and you know, listen to my stories or updates on my life or, you know, whatnot. Um, but it, it's been nice, um, having the interaction, especially where I don't have, you know, like a lot of, you know, family support. My, my mom was my best friend and you guys all, um, if you're new to the channel, then you, may not know my mom died of lung cancer um today actually um not well not today but today's the anniversary of her death and i totally just thought about that while i'm sitting here on camera and so it's been four years now that I haven't had her. And she's my best friend. I talked to her about everything. I would ask her her opinion about things, um, what I should do with certain things happening in my life. Um, and I don't have that anymore. And so I have to go to my sister or... And my sister and I, like, don't always get along, so, um, sometimes her advice is more of a tough love answer, where I just want my mom to, to give me a, you know, a nice answer, or, you know, whatnot. So, it's been, it's been really hard not having her. And, um, I miss her tremendously. I was actually watching Vampire Diaries, and, um, if you haven't watched it or you, you, um, are watching it or whatever, just, if you don't want a spoiler, then, um, just, um, you know, like, skip over this. Um, but, um... In one of the seasons, Caroline's mom um, passes, and 
I like totally lost it because she had cancer and so um, one of the hardest things I've ever had to do is take care of my mom while she had cancer and um, I I do not like death and um, when my grandma passed, I did not want to see her like that. I wanted to remember her with good memories, not of her being deceased. And so for me, uh, it was really hard because I wanted to run away. I did not want to watch my mom die. And so it was really, 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 really hard. And I had to give her her medications. I had to um, help her out of bed. I had to help her, you know, take, make sure she's um, eating and drinking and like um, all of these things. And my mom is a really stubborn person, so she did not like to be bossed around. <laughs> Um, which, you know, most people don't like to be bossed around, so it's understandable, but, um, she stopped eating, um, she would sleep majority of the day, she was in a lot of pain, so we found out in, in January, um, because she wrenched her back, picking up something heavy. And um, we thought, oh, she just pulled a muscle in her back, you know, wouldn't be the first time. Or maybe she um, re-injured a rib or something when she picked it up um, because she has, um, you know, fallen. She fell in the bathtub one time um, at my aunt's house. She was living with my aunt and she fell on top, she fell on top of the um, bathtub with her ribs and pretty sure she cracked her ribs and, and stuff. And so, um, so, you know, we, we thought, you know, she just wrenched her back or injured her rib or whatever. We weren't sure. But my mom was stubborn. She didn't want to go to the doctors. She hated going to the doctors. Um, and so it took a lot of convincing to get her there. Um, it, it was she, she had to be in such unbearable pain that she was just like, I'm done. Like, I need to go. And that's what it finally boiled down to. Uh, and then we found out that um, she had... Um, some, like, um, vertebrae damage, I guess, um, is what it was, like a, a disc, um, was like, like pushed and it was like bone on bone now instead of having the tissue in between. Well, they kept telling her to go see a primary care doctor because I took her to the ER because... She didn't have a primary care doctor, and um, and every time I try to call her primary care physician, since she has not been established with them, um, they kept, you know, dicking me around basically and saying, "Oh, it's gonna be months," and I'm like, "But she's in immense pain now. She's like in unbearable pain. Uh, what am I supposed to do for her right now?" You know, and it got to the point where I ended up having to be the advocate of her because, um, you know, they were um, basically um, dicking her around. And it was really frustrating because watching somebody be in so much pain that they're just crying in agony all day is, is very 
Like I like I could never be a nurse because it, I could not I could not take someone crying in agony and pain every day. Like that would frustrate me. Like I, not frustrate me, like irritate me, but like that would make me like like so upset for them. Like to is it's it's not it's like unbearable to watch somebody be in that much pain. And so, um, so I'm going to go ahead and continue the story and then I'm going to end it. Um, but so then, you know, of course I took her to the ER multiple times and then, um, we, we go in there, I think it's like the third or fourth time they're telling, they keep giving her like, um, really low narcotics, like, um, you know, like oxycodone or I don't, I don't, well, not oxycodone. Like first they were giving her like ibuprofen 800 and like all these things that are not touching the pain. Um, and then they tried to give her oxycodone and then they tried to give her, um, you know, different, different things like multiple times. And so, um, so I'm just, I don't know if I want to put this back on. So, so then it was about the third or fourth time that I took her to the ER because, um, we couldn't get her seen by a regular physician. Um, at, at that point they were like, the doctor comes in and she's like, um, I seen that you've come here multiple times. Um, I'm not sure why you keep coming, coming back here. Um, and, um, you like, you really need to see your physician kind of a thing and like, um, and they're like, um, I basically like accusing her of drug seeking. Whew, I lost it on this doctor. I was like, excuse me? Like we have come here multiple times because we can't get her seen by her regular doctor. She is not drug seeking anything. Like I'm like, she's in so much pain day in and day out. And you guys don't give us a straight answer of what's going on. And so, you know, like we don't, we don't have any idea what's going on and you're telling her to go see her doctor while well, her doctor's saying they can't get her in and she's in so much pain day in and day out that I, I I'm like, I, I mean, I lost it. I was like, who the hell do you think you are talking to my mom like that? <laughs> um, you know, my mom is 65 years old and, um, you know, she, she was diabetic um, and you know, like she had, she had other health issues and stuff, but I was just like, who do you think you are talking to people like that? Like her, this lady's bedside manner was the worst I've ever seen. But as soon as I put her in her place and like, basically it was like, this is what it is. And this is why this keeps happening. And this is why we're back here. She's like, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I did not realize that this is what it was. And so I was like, okay. Um, so then they basically said, um, she, she goes out and she comes back in and she says, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm even without a biopsy, I'm 90 nine percent sure that this is lung cancer she said because her father had lung cancer and had passed or whatever and so she's definitely seen it before and she doesn't want to she doesn't want us to to leave again without any real answers and um and then they when um, I told her about having the issues 
she basically was like, oh, so you have a urinary tract infection, which I honestly don't think my mom had. I don't think she had any urinary or, or bladder infection or anything like that. I think they did that so that they could admit her to the hospital so that they could run, run tests to get her, um, because from there they were running biopsies. They did her, they did back surgery on her for the, um, compression, um, the compression fractures or whatever they were. And so basically by the time we figured things out, um, it was May, it was like mother's day. Oh, May, no, March, I think. Whenever Mother's Day is, I can't even think right now. Brain hurts. Um, so, uh, they kept her, they kept her on Mother's Day. That's when we found out she had cancer on Mother's Day. Um, and then, um, so I went from finding out in, in May, yeah, in May, because that's, it's like a week after my birthday so we found out in may for sure and then um by august she was um she had liver failure and so that's basically what what ended up taking her is liver failure um she stopped eating she lost like a lot of weight um, and she was, you know, slowly deteriorating, deteriorating, and so it was the hardest thing I ever had to do, trying to, um, get her medications regimented, and they finally put her on, um, a fentanyl spray that goes under your tongue and basically hits your bloodstream right away uh, and they basically told her you can take more or less of this you take more on the days you don't want the the days that you don't need to function and take less on the days that you can bear some pain but you want to get something you know like one of whatever so it was just really hard and really sad and I miss her so much and it didn't even dawn on me that recording this right now is actually the, the f fourth anniversary of her death. But, Definitely miss talking to her. I used to write in a journal to her, but then my husband took my journal and started writing in it, so I don't write to her anymore. I do dream about her often, though. Like, a lot. I miss her so much. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening, and I will um, continue this. If you guys are interested in watching me continue this, let me know. Um, if not, then I can work off, off camera with it. Um, if you're not interested in watching me use the ruler on it, I just, honestly, I, I can't work on this without, because, like, I might ha end up pulling up these ones over here, because this is, like, a hot mess for me. Like, <laughs> I don't know why it looks so bad. I think, uh, the only thing I can think of is just the fact that it's, um, like, different sizes or something. Like, it just, it just looks a lot less neat than this side, and, I mean, I haven't put... I haven't put all the diamonds on, but 
I would rather it like look like this and like frame it just like this instead of having it look like that and try to frame it like that. <laughs> I'd rather have a pattern on it than and and have it that way than have it finished and look like that. So because this just looks more uniform, more neat. And Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.